Hello every creature. In this video we're going to go over the use of threads on Discord. If you're at all familiar with the EEA chat system, you know that on that you can create rooms, either private rooms or public rooms. Threads are precisely like that. Threads are temporary rooms that can be created by regular users. You don't need to be a site admin, you don't need to have special privileges, anyone can do it. Like EEA, when a thread hasn't been used for a while, it will go away. Unlike EEA, that thread is archived and can be brought back anytime anyone wants to. That can be incredibly useful if you're having your own bar or tavern, or you're running your own event, or your own private events. We'll start tonight by making a private thread. Private threads have a number of advantages over direct PMs or small group chats that you might do. Clicking on the number sign icon opens up a thread control panel. From here, we can look at any old threads or we can create a new one. When the new thread window opens, you're going to have to give your thread a name and a starting message. That's pretty easy. Just like on EEA, threads get archived after a certain amount of inactivity has passed. You'll have options for picking how long you want that time to be. The last thing you'll do when you make a thread is choosing between public and private. When you make a private thread, nobody knows about it until you let them know. After that, the room is created. Since my browser is big enough, I'm getting a default split screen view. On smaller devices, that won't happen, but you'll be able to navigate back and forth easily. So here we are in our thread room. If you look on the right hand side, the only person in it is Rust. Nobody else can see it or knows it exists. The nice thing about a thread is that you can invite in the bots as well as people. That's going to be especially useful for people who use Tupper to handle multiple OCs. You invite in bots the same way you're going to invite in people, by mentioning them. If you do an at sign mention in the channel, it makes the channel visible to whoever you flagged. So in this example, we're going to invite in the bots and one other player. Now that you've invited in the bots and the players that you want in the private room, that's all you need to do. Go ahead and start role playing. The room is now completely private. Only the people that you informed about the room can see it and you can go about your dirty sinful business as you like. When you're done with the room, you don't even need to do anything. Just stop typing. It'll go away eventually on its own. If the room does get archived, you can always reactivate it by going up to the number sign icon in that particular channel and opening it up from the archive. Piece of cake. So now I'm bringing over the shank account. If the room that had been created was public, there would have been a notification about it in the main Club Abyss channel. I'll show you that in a few seconds. Now, for the sake of full disclosure, I have to tell you that as the site owner, I can go up and look at the threads in a chat room and see even the private ones. I can't see what's in them unless I deliberately enter it though. This is a power only I have. None of the other site admins can do it. We set it up this way to give you as much privacy as we possibly could. The only time I will go into a private room uninvited is because somebody in that room has filed a serious complaint that demands I look into it. And I hope that never happens. Creating a public room is exactly the same as creating a private room, except you don't click the privacy button. When your public room is created, there's going to be an announcement in the main channel that it was created from. Just like in a private room, you're going to want to invite in the bots. Now at this point, there's a message in the main channel that you've created a thread, but nobody else is actually in that thread. Depending on the RP that's going on, you can either invite people in by mentioning them, or wait for them to click the link in the main channel. The choice is entirely up to you. So now, what I'm doing is switching back to Rust's account. Rust sees her VIP private room, which she's in, and in the main channel, she sees the announcement from the new public room, which she has not yet gone into. When Rust goes and looks at the thread icon, she'll now see her private room and any public rooms that have been created. From here, Rust could choose to click the link and go into the public thread, or she could simply remain in her private thread. There's no limit to the number of threads that you can be in at any one time, so it's not like you have to choose which one to be in. Everyone else is going to figure this out sooner or later, but as a reward for listening to me prattle on for four and a half minutes, I'm going to offer up a little bonus. Now that we're all RPing on Discord, I'm going to make a number of public rooms. Canterlot Castle, Donut Joe's, Ponyville, things like that. Another thing I'll be doing on a limited basis is creating player housing channels. Just for example, Rust, Rot, and Airborne all share a manor house together in Canterlot. 
I could make that as a public channel that they could play in, and then if they wanted to do anything in private, they could make threads for it. There is a limit to the number of channels that I am able to make in any one category. If you ask for a housing channel and then barely ever use it, I'm probably going to get rid of it. I'm also going to be making some generic housing channels. You can use it for a scene, and when that scene's over, somebody else can take that channel and use it for whatever they want to use it for. I'm also willing, on a limited basis, to make player-run business channels. An inn, a tavern, a blacksmith, an alchemy shop, what have you. I don't want to go crazy with this, and I want to see activity in those channels, but I'm perfectly willing to do it. And that's it for this video. Once again, thanks for listening in, and I hope this helped.